Across Baton Rouge, the trip to fill up only getting more expensive these days. Around town Tuesday, several stations advertising $3.39 a gallon. Another along Government Street, $3.59. That's still below the national average of $3.61 a gallon, but the pricey payout at the pump, something President Joe Biden acknowledged at tonight's State of the Union. Too many families are struggling to keep up with their bills. Inflation is robbing them of gains they thought otherwise they would be able to feel. I get it. That's why my top priority is getting prices under control. As of Tuesday, the average price per gallon of regular unleaded gas across Louisiana, $3.38. In East Baton Rouge, that average is $3.41. In Baton Rouge last week, the average $3.30. Last month, $3.11. And this time last year, a gallon of gas cost $2.37. It's the ebbs and flows of our economy, um, and we do everything in our power to, to, to balance that when possible. Um, the price of a barrel of oil, it, it fluctuates, therefore it impacts the, 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 the price of fuel at the gas pump. Um, the economy challenge, war challenge, there's so many moving variables that impact what prices look like. The latest maneuver to try and get a hold on fuel prices announced Tuesday is a group effort. The United States and several allies opening up their reserves. 60 million barrels in total will be released. 30 million of those barrels coming from U.S. reserves in Texas and right here in Louisiana. These steps will help blunt gas prices here at home. But I know news about what's happening can seem alarming to all Americans. But I want you to know we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Congressman Garrett Graves blasting that plan, saying this afternoon, the Biden administration's strategic petroleum reserve announcement today is like using Flex Seal to plug a hole on the Hoover Dam. It may make them feel like they are doing something, but it is not a long-term solution. Graves says the current approach needs to be overhauled. It's going to take uh, some, some big changes in this administration's energy policies to where we can use Louisiana crude instead of Russian crude. Um, for example, and we've, we've got to make changes to these policies to where we're not uh, out there effectively forcing American consumers to pay for Russian aggression in, in the Ukraine.